everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven and welcome back to my channel Shopping and Scents. So I am back with another Dollar Tree haul. And since this time I found what I have been looking for for a long time, I don't have to frequent the Dollar Tree as much and I'm going to try to cut back. So anyway, you guys know that I have been looking for the bandanas again, like the one that I'm wearing on my head. And I know what you're going to say. You have too many already. But I'm going to tell you the whole story about that at the end because I know some of you are new to my channel and you just want to get into what I bought. Then I'll explain about the bandanas later. Okay, so the first Dollar Tree that I went to didn't have such a great selection. I was only able to get a few items. One good thing that they had, my mom loves these, I love them. So I'm going to split these with her. And that is the Popcorners Kettle Corn. Now, usually I'm able to find the full size in the supermarket for, uh, you, they're usually a deal. They usually have a, a sale on them. But, of course, the Kettle Corn is the most popular. And now they only have like sea salt and butter left, which is the blue one and the yellow one. So, I was able to find the Popcorners Kettle Corn in the Dollar Tree. So, I picked up four of them. I picked up the four that they had left in the box that was open, but then they had like a whole pallet of, of boxes. So I wasn't going to get like a case or anything. I just took the four that were left in the open box. So for me, for my mom, then you guys know that I tried these before. I was a little iffy on them, but I just had to get them again. They were really, really good. At first I, I was, um, you know, I wasn't so sure about them and I'm not supposed to be eating sugar. But I do love lemon, and if you guys love lemon, give these a try. These are the Russell Stouffer Lemon Pucker. They taste like uh, white chocolate uh, with uh, lemon flavoring. And then in the middle, it has this like Sour Patch Kids uh, sour sugar. It's really, really good stuff. Then I picked up some towelettes. These are unlike most of the towelettes that I pick up. These are not for makeup. These are soothing sunburn relief. And if you are fair skin like I am, you get burned in the summer. Although I don't know with the uh, the whole coronavirus thing, how much outdoor stuff I'm going to be doing. Although I have to do my outdoor personal exercise, you know, walk Malcolm and do all that stuff. And I do wear sunblock, but I always end up getting sunburned anyway because you sweat off the sunblock. So this is Max Block after sun aloe vera 25 count and like i tell you guys always get the one with the little latch because that prevents your towelettes from drying out and then you don't have to put them in a ziploc bag and do all that kind of stuff then if you watch my pineapple video you know i picked these up for a friend and i was unable to find any more stuttering there i was unable to find any more and then I found more, so I was able to get two for myself. Um, so these are the towels that say party like a pineapple. This is a good thumbnail. Yes, so I found two of the party like a pineapple dish towels. They have others in the collection. They're all pretty cute, but this one is my favorite. So um, I got this, and this is weird. It says flower sack towel. Yes, you guys will notice that I took off my long nails and I have replaced them. Um, I had those long nails on for a while. They kept snapping and breaking. And after replacing them and replacing them, I ran out of extra nails. So now I've done a new set. These are what they consider medium length. To me, these are pretty short. So then I got a pair of men's socks. Like I told you guys, the women's socks for me... They're too tight because they're usually up to size nine and I wear size nine and a half. So the men's socks are size six to 12. So I got these Argyle socks for uh, the winter time. If you hear snoring in the background, that's my pug Malcolm. He is always snoring, forever snoring while I'm doing my videos. And then for my magnet collection, because you know I have a, I have a quite a bit of a magnet problem. I picked up this really cute magnet. It says, whatever sprinkles your donut. So I thought that would be a perfect addition to my fridge of magnets. And so that was all I got at the first store. 
um they like i said they really did not have a lot then i went to this other store that i usually don't go to i, I can count on one hand how many times i've been there it's not really close by and the parking is pretty bad but um I went on a Sunday when uh, the parking meters are not in effect. So I was able to find a parking spot. And that's where I found the jackpot on the, the bandanas. And we'll get into that. But I found some other cute stuff. So I picked up another sippy sippy bottle as if I needed one. But this one was just so pretty. It's a blue and it has these Hawaiian flowers and keep this on my desk at home or when I go back to work. Um, and have my water in here and it has the little stopper so that the straw will not come out of the bottle and these are just that's like perfect for sitting outside or for having at your desk just tropical and fun i found this glass it was so cute so beautiful and i had never seen this before i saw a mug that was similar uh, that I got from my mom for Mother's Day. It had a bicycle on it and said like, mom's life is the best life. But this one, it says, you can't see it. It says, bloom where you are planted. And then on the other side, it has the bicycle that was similar to that mom mug. So I thought that was really cute. Um, I use a lot of paper and plastic cups, but um, I pick up an occasional glass here and there if they're really, really pretty. And I just like this one a lot. So I picked that up. Then I got another patriotic scarf. You know that I've picked up plenty of scarves in different versions of the American flag, like firework ones and stripey ones and ones that had single flags and multiple flags and all that kind of stuff. And then I found one that I had not gotten before. This is an infinity scarf, which means that it's a continuous loop. And this is so pretty because it has heart flags and I don't have anyone, um, any scarves with heart flags. So I have plenty, plenty of scarves. I know I have to stop, put this on. I have to stop buying scarves. So I'm done with that. I found a summer tablecloth that I think is really cute. Um, that I'm going to put on my table because I still have my fall tablecloth, which is like a pumpkin color with leaves on it. And it's actually made out of cloth. This is plastic, but it has like a toucan on it. And it's just so bright and tropical. That totally says summer. So that's going to give a more uh, fun vibe to my table. I haven't seen this anywhere in any other Dollar Trees. And I haven't seen anybody else haul it, so... Picked up that, then I got some artwork. I did see one person haul this. I believe it was Bargain Bethany, I wanna say that hauled it, but I just thought this was so pretty. So it's a 3D sort of like, I wanna say she looks like a ballerina, but not really. Um, so the, the woman is uh, flat and the dress is puffy. So it's sort of like a 3D image. And this will go perfect in my bedroom because I have like a 1950s kind of, I have a mixture of goth 1950s pinup kind of stuff in my house. It's, it's a mixture of all different things. So that will go, I think, perfect with my decor. Then I got some um, notepads. Yes, I have enough notepads for the fridge, but sometimes you need like a little inspirational one for your fridge. So I got two of these hot pink ones and they have, they have the little unicorn design. This is by Greenbrier. And so they say, you go girl on them. And so I just thought they were really pretty for the fridge. So um, my current one says all out of, and then you can't see it there, but my current notepad says all out of, it's over there. And I list all the groceries that I'm out of. Uh, these say you go girl and I think these would be perfect if you see them these are like a great thing to just throw in a gift for like a birthday or I'm gonna say even Christmas if you're doing let's say you're doing like a Bath and Body Works basket for like Christmas or for a birthday or something you could throw one of these notepads in there and it's just really cute I found this other notepad um 
it says life begins after coffee. I don't know about you guys, but for me in the morning, yes, life begins after coffee. So I pick up that. Then I, you know, I'm going to make a basket of all the new um, bath and body stuff. Not necessarily bath and body works, but bath and body stuff that I picked up from the Dollar Tree so that I make sure to use it and I just don't put it in a basket and never use it. So I'm going to be doing like a project use it up type thing. I picked up as if I needed more lip balm. This one is called Salt Range. And this is Himalayan Pink Salt Moisturizing Lip Balm with Cherry and Shea Butter. So I've never tried Himalayan Pink Salt Lip Balm. And so I'm going to try that. And like I said, all of these are going to go into a basket of products that I'm going to be testing this month. And it's going to go along with this, which is from Bolero. I saw some people haul this, but only after I had picked it up. Um, this is Jelly Facial Cleanser, and it's lychee and watermelon. It says a deeply hydrating formula that helps boost your skin's natural glow. I can't tell you what this smells like because it's sealed. I have no idea what it smells like, and I'm not going to open it right now. I will tell you guys in my empties how it smells and how it worked. This is apply and massage dime size amount onto wet skin and rinse clean. So jelly facial, jelly facial cleanser, lychee and watermelon. I don't know if that snoring bothers anybody else, but he gets on my nerves sometimes. And I got this soothing facial mist. Okay, so this is hydrating facial mist. And this is watermelon and aloe. So. You definitely smell the aloe. You kind of smell the watermelon, but it smells more like aloe. And then it says, for all types, enhanced formula. And what is this supposed to do? It says, before drying off from your bath or shower, spray on the mist. Use all over face to refresh, moisturize, and fragrance your skin. And then it says, this is not food. Do not eat. Yeah, so there's that. And I don't know where the cap went to this, because I know I had the cap on there, but... Who knows where it went off to. And then this is the soothing facial mist. And this is in cucumber and aloe. Let's see what this smells like. Okay. I just pulled that off. Uh, cucumber and aloe. That one, you can definitely smell the cucumber along with the aloe. The other one, I can't, I don't really smell the, the, the uh, watermelon. So if this is hydrating this is soothing so does this do anything else different it just has the same instructions on it so one is soothing and one is hydrating so we'll see how those work because i intend on testing them out like i said i'm going to make a basket and i'm going to be using these products i got some more facial products and i got i got this notebook this one that you can like it's hardcover so it won't get dented and smashed in your bag this is perfect for writing your grocery lists um and it's really pretty and it has this rose gold writing on it it says dream so that was super cute and then drop all this stuff all over i found the ponds which is a brand name ponds clear solutions facial foam and this is kind of a small uh tube of stuff this was the only one they had. And it says, wet your face, create lather, gently massage, then rinse off. Use daily with a moisturizer. So, Pons Clear Solutions Facial Foam fights 10 oil problems. Okay. So, we'll see how that works. You'll know if I get a breakout or not. So, then I got some more Bolero. And this is the hydrating facial hydrating facial gel hydrator in watermelon and aloe. And then I got the soothing facial gel hydrator in the cucumber and aloe. So let's see, are these open? They are not. 
So we will have to see how these work. What are these supposed to do? It says apply evenly and massage into skin until absorbed. Huh. Facial gel hydrator. So this one you don't rinse off. This one you leave on your skin. Apply evenly and massage into skin until absorbed. So I'll be interested to see what happens to my face after I try all these products. And no more buying face and makeup stuff um, until all the, until I try what I have. Okay. Whoa. My legs were falling asleep. Okay, so now let's get to the story with the bandanas. These are multi-use bandanas. You can use them as a bandana. You can use them as a facial mask. You can use them as a head covering. They're multi-use bandanas. So I picked up a few the first time I saw them. Then I picked up, I, I tried them out. I really liked them. And you know, with these face coverings, you have to wash them. You can reuse them, but you have to wash them. That's the whole point. So you need to have enough of them that you can, you know, well, I don't know if you do your laundry yourself. I drop off my laundry and have it done because I just don't have the patience to sit there and do laundry. And besides, with the whole coronavirus, do you really want to sit near people and fold clothes? I don't even think they allow you to do that. I think it is drop off only. So you have to have enough, theoretically, that you can throw them in the laundry and then still have until you pick up your laundry. So I had bought a, a bunch. Then I thought, oh, then my friend told me he needed some. My other friend needed one or two. My mom needed some. So the next time I went, I picked up more. I gave some to one friend, gave some to the other friend, gave a couple to my mom. And then my mom said to me, uh, I really like these the best out of all the face masks that I've tried. Can I have six of them? So I gave her half of what I had. So that left me with just barely enough to have to wear, wash, and reuse. Because my mom has the other half. So since I gave her, I gave away all my bandanas, basically, except for the very few, you know, I didn't have any for in case of emergency, really, or for... Uh, the time when these are at the laundromat and I'm using, I have to use other ones. I can use the scarves, but I don't really like the scarves. Like I told you guys, the scarves, they constantly move and shift. And I feel like I'm touching my face more adjusting the scarf than I'm actually wearing and protecting myself. So anyway, this, these, if you can get them online, I believe you can buy them in a case of 24. So this particular Dollar Tree, they had 10 left. I got all 10. And I don't want to hear you guys say to me, you should have left some for the other people. And then blah, 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 blah. No, I don't want to hear it, okay? Because I, I gave them to people. So people got them. My friends got bandanas. My mom got bandanas. So they went to people. It's not like me hoarding them. But anyway, they did not have all the colors, they did not have the camo one, which is my favorite favorite. So I had to get what they had. And these look like they have been taken off the, you know, I told you guys, I can tell when it looks like it's been removed from the, the cardboard and looked at. This one definitely looks like it's been handled. So I'm definitely washing this before I use it. So these are all the different styles of the ways that you can wear the bandana. These are all colors that I've bought before. Uh, so this is the purple and pink. And we have the blue and uh, beige. The green and brown, which I gave to my guy friends. Um, they did have... Uh, Two more of these grandma looking ones, which are like a floral 1970s kind of print. I did find two more of this 1980s looking uh, splash of color ones that I really, really liked. And surprisingly, my guy friends wanted, even though I thought they looked pretty feminine because they were, no, I don't say they look pretty feminine. You know, you wear whatever you want, but um, they were pretty loud. So I was like, are they really going to wear them? This you know, cause the, 
pictures is for women. So I was trying to go more for like these colors and these colors. And then my guy friends were like, no, I want the really, you know, wild and wacky colors. So I got that. I did pick up another one of the uh, skull and crossbones. Uh, another one of this kind of, I don't know what you would call it. Just a ribbon, multicolor ribbon looking one. And they did have one of the, like the gang sign one. I have one more of these. No, no, nobody wanted it because they're like, we wear red, that's blood, and it bloods and blue is Crips. And we can't wear that and all that. That's what my friends told me. So I'm, me, I don't care. I'm not going to look like, I could wear whatever it is. And I'm not going to look like a gang member. I don't know. Because I'm just not. Uh, yeah, so I picked up, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the bandanas. So I don't need any more bandanas. I don't. I just really wish that they had had the camo. I mean, I guess they the camo sells out the fastest. This green and beige camo and the black and white and gray camo. Couldn't find them. But now I have my bandanas, so I don't need any more bandanas. So I'm going to try to not go to the Dollar Tree for a while, even though I eventually will run out of my Powerade water that I love so much. Um, so if I happen to bump into a bumper crop of bandanas i am only looking for the camel uh and like i said uh if i could find them online uh i i would you know i don't even know i don't need a case now i have enough i don't need a case the thing is i just i have them because i know you you guys have told me this as well if you have friends or family members like I have friends and my mom, um, you know that they're going to run out of essentials and they're going to come to you for the essentials because they know that you stock up. So I have these extra things that I keep, but believe me, they go because whenever somebody needs something, I ran out of Tylenol, I ran out of sanitizer i ran out of soap or whatever who do they come shopping in my apartment to who do they come to they know because they know i have extra and that's why i pick up extra so that's because it's always better to be prepared so you guys who say oh it's hoarding it's hoarding no it's hoarding if you keep it all for yourself it's not hoarding if you know that you are going to have people in your life who are in, in need who are not going to find the stuff for themselves or can't for some reason go out and get it for themselves and you're picking it up for them so you're actually giving it away sometimes my friends will you know my friends will try to give me a couple of, a couple of dollars for it and i'm like no um but then it gets, gets kind of expensive my mom always pays me back for the stuff that i get for her i tell her no 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 but she's she's always like take it you better take it and if if i like I gave her six bandanas and she's desperately trying to give me six dollars for the six bandanas. I'm like, don't want it. Use the bandanas, use them, wash them, reuse them, stay safe, stay protected. No, she takes the six dollars and she stuffs it in my pocket. Anyway, moms, you gotta love them. And it, <laughs> so that is the extent of this Dollar Tree haul. I think this is going to be the last one for a little while unless I come across something spectacular. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe and stay tuned to my channel to find out how all these products work. I will definitely be doing reviews or empties at the end of the month on how, well, maybe not the end of this month because there's only one more week in the month, but I definitely will be putting them in a basket and making sure that I use them and tell you guys how they are. Okay. So until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.